Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Traumary. Traumary is an RPG maker horror game where a young boy gets lost and ends up wandering into Wonderland. The game is still currently in development, but they've released the first chapter, so we'll be playing that right now. Excuse me, did you happen to see a couple of kids run past here with an old beat-up journal? They're not terribly difficult to miss. You... can see me? Of course I can see you. Why wouldn't I? I do admit your face is a bit hard to view from this angle. Huh. Well, they went that way. Oh, thank you, miss. She's... gone? Ghost. That strange girl said I'd be able to find them here, but... So far, all I've seen are headstones. I'm fortunate I managed to retrieve my journal, but... I still have more journal scraps to collect. Though I'm certain that those kids tossed them out here. Regardless, I do hope they're still in decent shape. Right. I think I can actually see a page from my journal over there. I do hope this won't take all evening. It's only begun, Alice. It's gonna take all evening, and maybe a couple hours into night. Guaranteed. I really need to watch my things more closely. Thankfully, I've nearly collected everything. Now, the quicker I find my missing pages, the sooner I can leave this wretched place. I have absolutely no desire to stay here all day. Who knows what I'll find. Apparently there's been a string of murders around this part. And weird cults, but nothing new here. I do hope I don't stumble upon anything too gruesome. Oh no. It's the worst possible scenario. We've stumbled upon pros. We really like rocking the short short looks. Look at them legs. That was a Team Titan skill reference. You can hate me now. Received parchment. An image of a crossed out face is scrawled on it. Can I view this item? Jill probably belonged to grandmother. Just walk for this graveyard with bloody handprints. I don't have time for this. No, there's more parchments. Parchment? An image of a mirror cleaved perfectly in half is scrawled on it. The description. Devil's Glass has captured an elegant cursive underneath the illustration. An illustration of a horned, grinning figure is scrawled on it. What kind of book did we have? That was... Yeah. An image of four hanging dolls is scrawled on it. We're fine. I mean, look at this graveyard. Practically looks like it's been drawn with crayon. There's no zombies here. There's not even any space between the gravestones. No way they're gonna rise out of that. It's like a traffic jam. See, parchment. An image of five graves is scrolling on it. Coincidental. An image of a bouquet of six decaying roses is scrawled on it. Well, every parchment something grim. Received parchment. The parchment is soaked in a fresh coat of ruby ink. This isn't it. Camera panning out. Do not trust. Person? No. Well, you're kind of a person, but not... not the living type. You're... 
That girl from earlier. Well, thank you for helping me. I didn't think I'd run into you again so soon. Oh, you found it. Thank you, miss. Receive parchment. The page appears to be covered entirely in ebony ink. Well, she wasn't so bad. Had a nice smile. She certainly does have a talent for vanishing into thin air. Like she's not alive or something. Perhaps something spectral or non-existent. Like something that would happen after you've passed away and somehow roamed the earth. I'm not sure what you would call it. A uh, perspective shift. Once upon a time, there was a boy who wanted to disappear. Everywhere he went, he left crimson in his wake. I think it's a little dashing in my opinion. No matter where he was, misfortune was sure to follow. Wherever he was sent, he would surely find himself alone. Moving on, with only his beloved journal in hand, he set off on a quest. Believing himself to not belong, he traveled from place to place. Under the dead of night, shrouded in various disguises of his choosing, the boy would constantly be on the move, never intending to stay in any one place for long. But, following a slowly tearing trail of breadcrumbs surely it was not a simple task. Gradually, he began to fade away from the world. The boy eventually tucked himself away in his room, lost with the fantastical stories of his own choosing. Years went by, until even he was forgotten. Time stopped for no one but him. The End Chapter Zero, Into the Woods That's the last time I take advice from a witch. Though I call this a success. I even fixed everything good as new. Well, almost. Thought I'd surely get scolded by them for using those spells I borrowed from her. They act as if they don't trust me. I'm relatively responsible. Well, no use undwelling. Perhaps I should put this book away and fetch my journal instead. Though I'd much prefer to find some new material to read. Noelle. Better save again. An archaic and intricately wrought cabin to be bed. Rose-hued cabinet. Someone's knocking. Who is knocking at my door? Nevermore. Again? A discarded book. Found paper scrap one. I'm willing to fix that journal's binding. Its pages always fall out. Noel. Noel, don't. Don't come up there. It's dangerous. I'll be fine. There's a book sticking out of the top shelf. Your guardians will be furious if they find out you're being reckless again. Then please don't tell them. Consider it a request. This is... odd. Do you by any chance happen to believe in magic? Magic? Did you hit your head on the way up there? Is it fine if I borrow this? Sure, sure, just get down from there. If you get hurt, they'll mount my head on a stick and throw it off a cliff. My condolences. I shall pray for you in your next life. I would know I talk to ghosts anywhere in the evening. Please just get down from there before they see you. Of course. Don't jump! Yes. Keep the paper scrap. One of seven. I mean, we gotta do a little collective fun here. It's supposed to chair coat and thick layer of dust. An open tome of fables. A discarded book. A stack of worn out books. 
an unnecessarily elevated shelf chock full of antiquated books and aged parchment. I've read through all of these as well. Place book here. Now that I put this away, I can retrieve my journal instead. Place book on the tall rose huge shelf. Read? Sure. Languidly like glancing at the moderate assortment of books, Noel idly reached for an unassuming novel. Upon opening the prim hard covering novel, Noel's eyes fell on a random page. The considerably large tome of the history of Alec Planet's book four, number chapter three. I feel like this is a meme. I must have forgotten to burn this. I'm making another save in case I wasn't supposed to put the book back. Man, I'm really rocking those short shorts. Plaster onto the thick wooden doors, a single sheet of aged parchment. On my closer inspection, a list of rules written in an elegant omit, faded red ink can be seen. Never go outside unless unnecessary. Number two, if you see anyone lurking around, do not converse with them. Number three, or triple, when the sun is set beyond the horizon and the remnants of civilization have turned to rust, do not leave or you will decay. Number four, do not under any circumstances go into the woods for your blood will paint the land. Number five, however, if you must, never look back, lest you desire your eyes to be plucked from their sockets. I wonder if this is all very literal. Number six, if you hear voices, do not follow them, and if the faint chime of footsteps ruminates behind you, run, unless you wish to leave your life behind. Number seven, hold your tongue before shallow graves, lest spirits drag your soul to the underworld. How dramatic. Sure. Breaking the first rule. Seems like we can't leave yet. We still have something to do. I have to test mirrors. Did I look for the journal? Not there. Here it is. Read entries. Excerpts. A doll maker, candlestick ritual, angels, and a grave. Lately, there's been sightings of a small peculiar figure garbed in black who has reportedly been spawned near abandoned areas at night. For certain reasons, those who have encountered it have regarded it as an angel of death. That's right, Zack. I'm not certain exactly why, but I don't wish to find out. It's said that the angel is known for ripping out the eyes of anyone who has misfortune to be caught by it. Even more unfortunately, it's said to fashion the bones of its many victims into various tools. The doll maker. Occasionally charred human bones crop up around the surrounding area. During my ventures out into the woods, I take them and use their flesh and hair to sculpt out figures. Once in a while, the deceased like my recreation so much that they take them for themselves. The remaining words are hastily scrawled on ebony ink. The candlestick ritual. Danger level, intermediate, requirements, a candlestick, matches, knife and spoon, salt, rules. Once the sun sets, search for a pumpkin patch before 12 a.m. midnight, strikes, pick out the first specimen that catches your eye. Good thing for you, Charlie Brown. At approximately 12 a.m., say, the previous day has come to an end and it is now safe for you to come out. Now use your knife to cut the pumpkin open and scoop out its innards with a spoon and carve out a face no matter how crude or deranged its features may be. I like how we had to have to add that little deranged word. Next, light up the candlestick and place it inside the pumpkin. Do not skip this step, number five. Place the pumpkin directly in front of you. Now quickly draw a salt circle solely around your person and wait. If the pumpkin remains motionless by 3 a.m., the ritual has failed. If the pumpkin comes to life and tries to tear off your face, you know it succeeded. You fool. Note, on the occasion in which you see the faint outlines of shadows from your peripheral vision beckoning you to approach them, stay in the salt circle until 3 a.m. On the rare occasion in which the shadows materialize, do not leave the salt circle until day breaks. Once the darkness has withered away, burn the pumpkin. However, but if by any chance you'd actually desire to leave the circle, well, I cannot guarantee your safety. Except I wish for you happiness in the next life. That's very particular. Can we leave yet? Yes. Let's see. 
Today I checked up on the tools, cleaned my room, and organized my books. I think that's it for chores. I don't have anything else to do after I water the flowers. Oh well. Blood? Blood? Let's save again. A bird crashed through a window? The mangled form is found strewn on the gash gray granite tiles. Blood and multicolored feathers are scared about the hard granite floor. Its face is obstructed from view. Good morning, Mr. Magpie. I hope your family is well. Did that noise come from you? Oh, but you're hurt. Well, it would certainly explain all this blood you came from. Though, this is too much blood for such a small thing. Due to the marred state of the bird, no one expected it closer for signs of life. Good. Still breathing. But your wing's broken. Visitors aren't allowed here, but I'll make an exception just for you, Mr. Magpie. I'll get you some bandages, so please stay there. Hmm. Bandages don't seem to be that way. Let's go this way. I know we have spare bandages in the kitchen. They're not going to help much, but at least I can do for now. Well, our, our kitchen's just... Yep. Those bandages should be around here somewhere. I still need to carve this pumpkin. Check cupboard for bandages? Sure. When opening the hardwood cupboard, you all found a roll of fresh bandages. You see bandages. These should be enough. Hopefully Mr. Magpie isn't dead yet. I still wish these pumpkins would talk to me just once. Let's see if we can find some more notes. Take the knife. I already have a perfectly good dagger. And this is my pumpkin carving knife. Interesting. Intricately plastic picture frame is neatly nestled on salmon colored wall. Let's go. It's like Halloween town up in here. I found the bandages, Mr. Magpie. I'm on closer inspection, no one notices that his tongue has in fact been hacked off. Weird. You weren't like this earlier. Here. Good as new. Momentarily pacing back and forth, Noel eventually picked up the injured creature. Though, even if your wounds are healed. Raising his injured head towards Noel, he weakly shoots a glance back at the boy before landing on a few gurgling sounds. I really shouldn't be talking to you. I apologize for this, but... Glancing back at the magpie, nestled in his arms, Noel realized it had fallen completely silent. Though the slight rise and fall of his chest was apparent curious enough. Oh no... So like, do we, do we bury it alive, or do we kill it first? I guess we put out its misery. Just to make sure that you'll stay dead. Dealing with undead birds is quite odd, even for me. Mm. Taking one more life shouldn't be an issue for me at this point, but I always did hate getting blood on my hands. But I'll be sure to give you a proper grave. I need to clean all this up. However, I doubt they'll appreciate me getting blood all over the floor. Retrieve bird. Hey! Anyone there? You just ask me that after you start breaking my stuff?
This day is just getting stranger and stranger. What's a girl doing all the way out here? I guess I'll have to kick her out as well. Only one person can occupy not Black Butler Castle. And that's me and my short shorts. Damn, I went the wrong way. I clearly do not know my way around here. You're alive. How odd. And who might you be, miss? Oh, pardon me, I'm... Annabelle. And I see you found my bird. Oh, no! Your bird. Well, I followed him. But yeah, I guess you could say he's my bird. Maybe I should have buried you alive for the off chance that you could have restored you. Too bad he's broken now. However, broken. Yeah, broken. I see. A completely normal world. With normal people. Well, quit standing around. Since you're here, why don't you help me look for a grave? Of course. I'd be more than happy to help you, miss. Perfect. I just know we're going to be Best friends. Mm, great. Anything wrong, miss? It's just... Something does feel off about you. Well, something feels off about you. You don't want to talk. You wouldn't be the first. You're alive. But you just look plain dead to me. I'm probably a vampire. Oh, I know. You look so empty and lifeless. Like a doll. And this is a toy bird. This is a toy bird? You sure? Anyway, enough chatting. Let's bury him. Right. Welcome to the party. Do player now. There's a lot of pumpkins everywhere. Bury him here? No. I said no, yet you still, like, said, like, Okay, let's ask. How about here, miss? What about there? The guard is quite lengthy, miss. Are you sure you want to go there? Go here, rather. Yeah. Let's not. I really must apologize, miss. It's my fault that he passed away. Noelle, please shut up. Okay. Rude. I never told you my name. Well, you look like a Noel to me. That's really suspicious. Right. Whatever you say, miss. Oh, he's... alive? A toy can't be alive, silly. That... cannot be just a toy. Ah, oh, he flew away again. It took me ages to track him down. Pardon the interruption, but why were you so dead set on Mr. Magpie? Well, why were you? Because he crashed into my windows, broke my stuff, and bled everywhere? You don't talk much, huh? Not really. I only do running commentary. Well, like I said, he's just a cute toy. That bleeds. And tries to live. And gurgles. I've been trying to fix him, but to no success. It was nice chatting with you. I bet it'd be off. If I hurry, maybe I'll be able to catch him. Likewise. Goodbye. Mm, goodbye. That doll's not creepy. Stranger things have happened, but... It's been a long day. Time for bed, I suppose. Anything new?
Uh, I'll just make a million saves. It's the best way to handle this. Sleep, yes. Well, sweet dreams and good night. Game over? I could kill my sleep? Let's try the other option. It's been too long since I last dealt with corpses. Hover. I do need to get all this blood cleaned off. Retrieve bird. There. And as for you, Mr. Magpie, I doubt they'd mind too much if I buried you in the gardens. At least one of us will have a nice grave. Let's see. Again. What's a girl doing all the way out here? You wouldn't happen to know her, right? Yeah, the dialogue's a little bit different. Maybe now we won't die in our sleep. You're alive. How odd. And who might you be, miss? Oh, pardon me, I'm... The one who probably murdered you. I'm a vampire hunter. Annabelle. Nice to meet you, miss. I'm... Oh, I know who you are. Noel Rossio. Nice to see you found my birds, so you have my sincerest thanks. How? Do you know my name, miss? That's easy. There's a plaque outside of your name. And you look like a Noel to me, Red. Okay. Whatever you say, miss. I don't recall there ever being a plaque outside. I'll have to investigate this later. Annabelle, the one who probably murders you. You're awfully happy about this, miss. Why wouldn't I be? I found my beloved toy bird and met you. What's there to not be happy about? Right. I hope she's not going to carry that around with her. There's a bone jutting out of his neck. Well, miss, I'll just see to it that Mr. Magpie receives a proper burial. You're funny, but I've been thinking the same thing. You can count me in. I love playing pretend. I, uh, right. Just smile and nod. Okay. Please go away. Maybe she'll go away after this. Was there anything else? Nope. Let's just bury Mr. Magpie and get this over with. Sure, your funeral. Oh no. You know, because this is your house. You can't see it, but I'm really shifty eyeing right now, like left and right. I understand, miss. Great. I'd laugh if, like, the. The, the where you where you bury the bird determines your bad end. Bury it the wrong place. Bad end. Farewell. I hardly knew ya. I really must apologize, Miss. Do you have to apologize for everything? It's annoying. I'm sorry, Miss. You're acting like you're guilty of something. Sorry. Done. Right. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, miss, but you really should leave. My family doesn't take too kindly to strangers. Speaking of which, I have not seen your family around. Not so fast. We still need to search for some flowers for my bird. Why? A funeral wouldn't be complete without flowers, silly. We buried him in a garden. There's more than enough flowers for him here. I thought you, all of all, you of all people would be a stickler for rules. But we just met. Y you know what? Sure. Whatever you say, miss. Great. I'll be collecting some flowers as well, however. I still have chores to complete. Say. Would that mean we're killing two birds with one stone? Mmm. 
No, there wasn't any stones involved. It's quite work. Noel? Farewell, stranger. I was just kidding. Come back! Let's get this over with. And that's a spirit. Okay. So far, so good. At least flowers be perfect for his grave. What about there? No. Still can't leave the area. Are we almost done? Yes. I don't have much to say here. There's really not much to do here. Well, it's peaceful at least. Have you seen anything else odd here, Noel? Yes. You. I wonder, how are you so happy, miss? Nothing ever really gets me down. What's the point of being sad when it's so much easier to smile? I can think of a few good reasons. Still nothing. Perhaps the next one, then. Don't you think I look cute, Noel? No. I mean... Yes, miss. What was with that pause? I wonder, what are you going to do when we're done with your chores? Nothing. Mope. Play video games, maybe. These flowers are really pretty. Quite. And they're red like your eyes. They are? They look... Orange. Yes? I really do like them. They have such a lovely color. Thank you, miss. Oh look, a rock! Please don't break anything. Two birds with one stone. No promises. Brother would probably like it here. He really loves flowers. Why don't you take some for him, miss? What are these? Oh, you find the acidome, miss. <laughs> I'm really good at this. Of course. Oh, tea leaves. What a cute toy. Her name is Truffles. Nice to meet you, Truffles. What's wrong? I think something just hit me. Doll doesn't like you. You're evil. Found some chestnuts, Noel. Let's roast them. Should have miss. We're just finding all these items. You didn't collect the chestnuts. Bad end. It's really frilly. And pretty. We have a lot of old tablecloths in the attic. Gonna search specifically every little pixel. Pixel find in. Well, I've been wondering. Where is everyone? Out. Noel, can I keep this shovel? No. It's the only one I have. Noel, anything here? Regrettably not, miss. Great. Patience, miss. Enough of miss, just call me Annabelle. I apologize, miss. Force of habit. I feel like you're messing with me. Sorry, miss. I figured you would miss me saying this. Forget I said anything. Huh. We found them. Good job. This sure is easy, Noel. We see the yellow carnations. Oh, these carnations are red. Yes. They represent admiration, miss. Dun dun dun. 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 Oh, I was wondering where this book went. And here's a tamarisk. Tamarind? Tamarind's a fruit, miss. Oh great, we got tamarisk. Pixel find in. Have any hobbies? Yes. I know, you're really polite. Sorry, miss. Don't apologize. I'm tired. We can take a break here if you'd like. No, no, Annabelle's no quitter. Right. Are these flowers that you need? Perfect. That's the Heber. Good job, miss. 
How do you know so much about flowers, Noel? I have a book on flowers, miss. Would you like it? No, I'm fine, Noel. How about a book on eggplants? Was that... Was that a sexual connotation? Definitely not. Receive heather flowers. Is that a sexual connotation there, Noel? Noel, how about these? Those are lovely. Let's search for the yellow carnations, miss. Don't we technically have some? Do we need more? Need more yellow carnations. No, I think that's it. So unless there's something to the south... That's everything, right, Noel? Yes, thank you, miss. This is a whole new area. Wow, this place is... Gaudy. Cluttered. That works, too. I apologize, miss. If I knew I was having company over, I would have tidied up. Enough of the apologies already. Oh, right. Sorry. Oh, a gravestone. It's merely for decoration, miss. There's no one here but us. Great. What a letdown. Welcome to Halloween Town. So many flowers. I'm having fun of them, miss. And pumpkins. Yes. You have enough pumpkins here to bake a hundred pies. I do, don't I? Please don't mention pumpkins anymore. Why? Just don't. Please. So many flowers. It's the same dialogue. Is anyone buried here? No. Save, just in case of death trap. I'm just gonna place these flowers into a few jars, miss. Oh, that's fine then. We already gathered enough flowers for the bird anyway. Thank you. This is more of the house. We really like flowers, actually. An elderly grandfather clock. Its hands are perpetually stuck at 3 a.m. Big Apple, 3 a.m. I'll fix it later. Place flowers here? Sure. How many flowers do you even have? I lost count. Yeah, I can believe that. There goes the Heather. Will we still have enough flowers for the other pots, Noel? Of course, miss. If not, we can get more. Miss, your brother must be worried sick about you right now. Yes, definitely. Aren't you the least be worried about him as well? Not really. Didn't you say you have family, Noel? Of course, miss. But where are they? Oh look, can we place a tamarisk here? Leave, yes. Here we go. We're done now, right? Yes, miss. Finally! Well, that was fun, but I really must be taking my leave. Likewise. I'll be heading back now. I still have so much to take care of. But before I leave, I want you to have this. A ticket? I had a spirit, so I thought I'd give it to you. Thank you, miss. You don't like it? No, it's just that it looks like someone scribbled all over it. It's ugly. Also, you shouldn't give this to someone you just met. Hmm, well, are you going to use it? There's no date or location either. When does it even expire? Now you're just being rude. That train ticket is perfectly fine. Miss, would it be alright if I return this? Uh, why? Well, to be frank... I'd rather die than step outside. Ooh, whoa, we. Fine. I'm not going to push the subject if you don't want to talk, but... Consider my offer. If I were to search for this train, where would I even look? It's the Doom Train. 
Take her to the afterlife. It's just a paper scrap with an elephant doodle on the sign. It's not an elephant, but kind of like one. And you have to be completely daft to miss that train. It's the only one in service around these parts. Great. I do hope you'll take my offer. Goodbye. Farewell. Well, that was fun. Now no one to annoy us. Let us leave. I didn't tell her my last name. Well, stranger things have happened. I think I'll go burn this ticket first. <laughs> Are we just a little edge master? Most likely a vampire. But anyway. Take doll? Yes. Follow me, Truffles. You shouldn't be out here anyway. Doll's clutching a small piece of parchment. Found paper scrap number two. Though, for some silly old journal, this is actually incredibly well made. I wonder who this belonged to. Can't be anyone I've ever met, I presume. After all, I was just sent here. Wonder how long it'll be before they grow scared and send me away. Though, I can't help but hope they'll be telling me to stay. Everyone here is nice. They don't request my red eyes or hair. They even let me read as many books as I want. Maybe. I should listen to the maids. I probably shouldn't read to the top of the bookshelves or ladders even if I've never gotten hurt. Oh, someone's calling me. Steak? Just eat your dinner, Noelle. You eat your rich steak and you like it. And you're getting a lobster for dessert. Just want a hamburger, Mom. But why is it so bloody? Can I please skip the dessert in instead? No. Don't you want to grow up big and strong? I'm already strong. Fair point. You can skip dinner this time. What kind of exchange is that? Thank you. What will we be having tonight? Today's dessert is dish is blood pudding. Oh yeah. Yep, this is a uh, normal family. So maybe they're the vampires and we're the normal ones. Nice doll. 